Hello everyone, welcome to the Comic Gamer Movie Show. My name is Deshaun and today I want to talk about something that's been making the rounds on the news. It's been now about a week ago, week, about like a few weeks ago now, Martin Scorsese. I hope I'm saying his name right. Martin Scorsese. You might know Martin Scorsese. You might know movies like The Departed, Goodfellas, the new, um, Departed, Goodfellas, all kinds of movies that Martin Scorsese has done. He's got the casino, um, just, Martin Scorsese is a well-known, well-liked, one of the greatest directors, you know, film people of all time. He just came out with a movie called The Irishman. I don't think it's on Netflix yet, but it's supposed to be an amazing movie with Robert De Niro and um, Al Pacino and John Pesci. It's supposed to be an amazing movie. I haven't seen it yet. It hasn't been on Netflix yet. It's supposed to be three hours and 30 minutes, which is why I'm like, I don't know when I'm going to see it. But damn it, The Godfather was fucking long as shit, too. I digress. Nothing wrong with that. And he recently came out a few months ago and said that comic, and pretty much said that the Marvel movies, Marvel movies, not comic book movies. I've seen people try to kind of like stretch it out to comic book movies. I'm like, no, 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 no. He's talking about Marvel movies because let's face it, whenever someone's got shit to say, it's about Marvel. So he comes out and says that these movies aren't cinema. They're not cinema. They're more like amusement parks and that. You know, real cinema is the connection between another human being and another human being on an emotional, on an emotional level. Comes out and says that. Now, most most of the film people defend him. There are three groups of people on that topic. People like me who are like, "What the fuck are you talking about, Marty? Like, you're just sounding like a old bitter man. You just sound like an old bitter, old bitter bastard. Really, you just sound like an old bitter man." Who's upset that no movie that nobody wants to see his movies in the movie theaters? That no matter how good the fucking Irishman is, it's a three-hour movie. It's a three-hour and thirty movie about mobsters. And I'm sorry that people in mass don't want to go see that, Marty. People might see it on Netflix, but they don't want to go out and see that. And how Marty's just pretty much using comic book movies slash Marvel as an excuse to complain about the fact that no one wants to show his movies. And that it's really not about those movies, and he's really never given a movie a shot, even though he said he's tried to see one or two of them. But it's pretty clear that he, he doesn't know what he's talking about, he's just kind of talking out of his ass and, you know, whatnot. Then there's the other, then there's another group of people who hate the MCU haters, the people who hate Marvel, who hate the MCU, who who are like, yeah, Marty's right, it's not, because, you know, they hate the MCU and hate Marvel, so anyone who hates the MCU and hate Marvel is a part of them, is a part of their fan club as far as they're concerned, even if they don't completely agree with it, because they're like, well, I like some movies like that, but those people are coming out, of course, making their YouTube channels like, oh, I agree with them because you guys don't like Marvel. Because you guys hate Marvel in general. So it's like, of course you're going to agree with it. You don't like Marvel anyway. So, of course you're going to be like, yeah, there is the emotional connection. <laughs> and then there's the people who are, who, then there's the film people who have this interesting stance of almost go, of going, uh, uh, and then there's the film people who are like, I understand where you're com where he's coming from, and I cert at certain times I agree with him, and uh, then they get they go from there to um, I disagree with him about his final philosophy. I enjoy these movies, but you know these movies aren't this, they aren't that, they aren't this, and they like they try to like find this interesting balance. The film people like or, or the film people of like, oh, well, I don't agree with them, but I don't disagree with them. He, some this is right, this is right, and this is right. Now me personally, and then literally weeks later, weeks later, or a week later, he comes out and doubles down on it. This is when a lot of the other film people who were on his side started to go. Okay, because even most of the film people who were on his side were kind of uh, under the impression that, oh, this is probably not really the whole quote, you know, this is probably not how he really feels about the whole thing. I'm sure if you asked him again, he'd say it differently. He was trying to make a point, but just said it wrong. And then he comes out and pretty much just says, no, I meant that shit. These aren't movies. These are ruining. He, these are ru he, he didn't say these words, but he pretty much said what... These are ruining the um, film business, the studio, the, the, um, what did he say? The, um, the play theaters like Commonwealth and, like, like AMC and Commonwealth and Regal need to stand up 
and you know fight this invading these invading the invading forces of Marvel movies. Like he he's taught he basically is saying that these movies are ruined that Marvel MCU is ruining the business is ruining the studios. No one wants to see small movies because MCU movies are around. No one wants to see small movies because Marvel's popular. That is basically what he is saying. He is coming at Marvel. He is pretty much blaming Marvel for the reasons no one wants to go and see his movie. And then you got Jennifer Anderson coming out and saying, oh. No one wants to go make a rom-com. I want to make a movie like when Harry met Sally. Well, no, what, is it Sally? When Harry met, when Harry met Sally. Yeah, when Harry met Sally, and no one wants to see that because they want to go watch Marvel movies. And John Campion said it best. These people are under the illusion, Scorsese and Jennifer Anderson, that if Marvel didn't exist or superhero movies didn't exist, that people would be going in droves to see their movies. That isn't the case. If people wanted to see those movies, they would go see those movies. Like, that's just how it is. That's, just, that's how it works. <laughs> but, but, and like, and um, as many people have pointed out, John Campia included and many others, comic book movies, Marvel and comic book movies in general, make up 5% of every movie released a year, of every, of every genre of movie released a year. And out of that 5%, there's three Marvel movies. There are three Marvel movies a year. Next year, there will only be two. And somehow, they're ruining the business. No, it's just because people want to have fun. Like, the thing is, I don't get how these people don't understand that. And, like, and like I get in arguments. I've been getting in arguments with people all the time over this topic. Because I'm just like, what do you mean not an emotional connection? So when, when Star-Lord's freaking... When Star-Lord mom died in front of him when he was a kid and he couldn't he couldn't deal with her death and he couldn't take her hand and he and he, he missed out on his he couldn't do the final thing his mom asked him to do and it weighed on him through his adult through his childhood his teenage life and it made him that changed him and it made him the man that he is that's not connecting on a human or emotional level when T'Challa, when um, when in Black Panther, when Killmonger, you know, talks to his father, and he goes to the astral plane, and his father saying, "No tears for me," and that's not connecting on a human or emotional level. That's not connecting on any level. Like when T'Challa is like pleading to Wakandans about like all the things that they could have done to help out African American, African or African American, African Britain, Africans in general, they haven't done anything. That's not connecting on an emotional level. Fucking, I go back to Guardians. Yondu dying for Peter. Peter, that's not an emotional thing on an emotional level. Fucking Cap having to bury Peggy and being emotional about that. Or Cap visiting Peggy, who has Alzheimer's and can't remember him anymore. That's not connecting on an emotional level. I can keep going with this. It's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. The idea that these movies have nothing in them, because that's what he's saying. And, like, that's what I said. I, like, I hate this shit. And the reason, and some people have said, and like, that's the thing, I disagree with you people. Anyone who says that, oh, it's just his opinion and it doesn't matter, you're fooling yourself. People like Martin Scorsese have power in Hollywood. They have power. They have power. They can sway, you know, the bigger, more important, whiter people in bigger positions of power in Hollywood to do things and act certain ways that they might not have acted or think things that they might not have acted. People like him have power power and sway and if he has this opinion of the MCU of comic book movies in general then it's never gonna change because we're letting it because we're letting people who don't even understand it judge something that they don't even understand judge something that they didn't even give a shot to and like and, and don't misunderstand me people don't misunderstand me if he had come out and said that comic book movies aren't my thing that MCU movies aren't my thing okay it's not everybody's thing is the same thing if he came out and said I don't get it I'm not you know it's not for me but, you know, a lot, I'm sure it brings joy to people, but that's just not for me. Awesome. But this man is coming out and attacking the MCU. He's attacking the MCU. He's attacking the fact that they're popular. He's coming off like a hating little bitch. Because that's what he really is. He's a hater. And, like, the, the MCU isn't, as you've seen on my channel, the MCU isn't a mystery to haters. I mean, that Ethan Hawke, Judy, Judy, um, Judy Foster... All these people hate on the MCU. And the thing is, you can do what you want. You can say what you want. It's not cinema. It's not this. But it's not going anywhere. And people are praying. That's why right now, there's this fake thing out there in the world where everyone's acting like, we don't know if Marvel's going to be okay. And I don't know why everyone keeps talking like
talking like that? Why does everyone keep talking about that? Well, it doesn't have to say. Of course, it doesn't have to say. Boss, nobody knows what this character is. Well, wait, I don't know what. I, I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused with how people are talking right now. I'm just like, you. It's like you guys are desperate to fucking in the MCU. Cause that, that's all I hear, man. Everyone's talking like, oh, we're nervous. We don't know. It's like, okay, what the fuck's that supposed to mean? Like, do you just what? Like, what makes you think they're gonna fuck it up now? <laughs> everyone's still in place everyone's still there like what makes you think they're gonna screw it up now like right now there is this negative cloud that people are the, it's not even the MCU's fault other people want to put this negative cloud on the MCU people are coming at the MCU more than ever I love how they all waited till Endgame after Endgame and Spider-Man Homecoming to start talking shit and it's like in this moment of silence while Black Widow is hasn't had a trailer out Last movie came out about three, four months ago. There's not going to be a new movie till May. In this moment of silence that everyone's begged for, all they can do is sit around and talk shit about the MCU, or talk shit about the MCU's failure, or talk shit about the MCU coming to an end, or talk shit about all the characters that they don't recognize. Who's a Chang Chi? Who's a in, who's a Eternal? Who's this? Who's a who's a Miss Marvel? Who's this? You guys just made up She-Hulk. Shut the fuck up like what happened what like did you like, do you guys just think marvel just all of a sudden forgot what they're doing like i don't get this i don't get this fucking premise that's in people's heads and that's why comments like coming from martin sorsese bothers the fuck out of me because i'm like you're just feeding into these already negative nancy's going out talking about so marvel's lost face and got marvel Where's the, where's the proof of that? They haven't announced the movie yet. They haven't announced when Guardians of Galaxy 3 is coming out, but we know it's coming out. They haven't even announced the title of fucking Black Panther. Like, like what are you talking about? They haven't announced freaking, um, they haven't announced Ant-Man 3 yet either. Like, calm down. Calm the fuck down. Like, like I said, I don't know why there's this negative thing going around Marvel. And every time a celebrity's got to take a shot at fucking, you know, comic book movies it's always marvel i've never heard a celebrity go man dc that shit you know um these dc movies but it's always marvel it's because marvel's big time it's because marvel's on the top of the mountain but when you say that people get upset people get angry they go that's horse shit but then the, then you're like well why do people keep attacking them then they got the best like they, all their most of all their movies are fresh most of their movies got a's three of their movies got a pluses audience scores some of their movies are, are the highest are the highest rated movies are some of the highest rated movies on Rotten Tomatoes, including Black Panther, which has a 96. So, like, I'm so confused. <laughs> like I said, somebody pointed out something though that may be why he said what he said. Maybe why so many of these older generation of people. Because if you notice, it's only from the older generation who have problems with Marvel. It's only from people who used to be something. <laughs> so I guess has-beens. So even the has-beens that um have a problem with Marvel, and someone pointed out, it's like they're having a hard time adapting with the times, adapting with the fact that things don't work the way they used to work. That your face and your name isn't enough to get people to show up to the movie theater, and they're not, and they haven't been able to adapt with the times. And the and they see Marvel, and they see people excited to go see these movies, and they see people gathering to go see these movies, and they go, well, my movie's better than that. My movie means something. Why don't people want to gather to see my movie? And they don't evaluate why people want to go see... They don't even go evaluate why people want to see a Marvel movie. Why people like Marvel movies. They just go, this is garbage. It's not like my movie. My movie is art. My movie is a movie. That's, that's how Mark Scorsese sounds. My movie is a mo movie. These elitist bastards. You know what? I've always said this. I hope Endgame gets nominated. I really want Endgame to get nominated for Best Picture because I do think it was the Best Picture, at least as far as I've seen. There might be some other movies, more artful movies that, you know, made more touching stories or more smaller, compact stories. But in terms of the narrative, in terms of the movie of the year, the movie that people are going to think about when they think about this year, like normal everyday people are going to think about when they think about this year, in terms of when you sit there and go, what was one of the, what were the great movies of this year? Like, Endgame's going to pop in your head. And you're, you might not choose it because you might be a film film buff, but Endgame's gonna be up there, and I think it deserves it, man. It deserves it over other things. I don't think the Joker's a particularly great movie, but you know, I'm, people disagree with me. But I do believe Endgame deserves this. I'd love it to get nominated just to shove it in Martin Scorsese's face. Thank you for joining me on the Comic Game Movie Show. Please remember to like and subscribe. And Martin Scorsese, you can kiss my ass. Go make another monster movie. Goodbye.